What's going on YouTube? I hope everybody's staying safe with the uh, current condition going on in the world there. Um, everything's safe out here. Uh, I'm in the camper today. I thought I'd try to get some work done on it. This is literally the first day without rain in about two weeks. And it looks like it will be the last day without <laughs> rain for probably at least a week. So, um, yeah, it's it, this is what it is. So I'm going to try to get a little bit of work done up here today. Um, I'll pan you around so you can kind of see what's going on. I've got the GoPro today because I'm in such a small area. Um, I hope you guys can hear me okay. I hope you can see everything okay. I know the last couple of videos I did with the GoPro were really hard to hear, so... Keep that in mind, I'm going to try to keep the distance about like it is right now when I'm talking to you. So hopefully everybody can hear me this time. Um, anyway, I'm going to pan you around and let's get you, let you can have a look at the devastation of what's going on. <laughs> and it probably looks a little different than the last time. I've got one counter ripped out completely. Uh, it's sitting over here. Um, I've got all of the roofing panels that were waterlogged and hanging down. They've all been pulled out. I've got the vent pulled off, and this was wiring hanging down for the uh, for the original uh, uh, lights, which are well, they're here somewhere. <laughs> it's a mess right now. I'll, I'll find them again. Um, got the bunks uh, still pulled out. I'm, I'm trying to get the paneling off the bunk walls because, as you can see, there's been some water run down, and I'm not a big fan. The ABS plastic is really durable on its own but you start throwing wood on there and it's just somewhere for even just a little minor leak just to soak in and cause a lot of damage so still trying to pull that off um the i've got new rubber to go uh to close these gaps up uh around here on the road cover uh, just a matter of getting around to cutting it and getting it put on the road cover is really long um it's like i want to say it's close to it's maybe close to 16 feet. It's an awful, it's awful heavy for me to move by myself. Well, not really so much heavy, but it flimsy, I want to say. I don't want to do anything to crack it. The road cover has no cracks in it right now. I want to leave it that way. I need to add some some spacers there because, as you can see, the water is wanting to pull and run away. Um, we're going to fix that when we pull that off. There it goes running off the back wall. So, But the plan for the day is to finish getting out the cabinets. Um and get this furnace out of here the old uh i don't even know who makes it um i don't remember if it was an, an atwood or probably older than that wood it may say oh there's the lights this was it was a hot hydro flame so that will not be going back in I really don't want to rely on propane. It's just uh, something that it eats through it too fast. So um, this thing was loaded with wasps. That's why it's taking so long to get back in here. When I started pulling all this covering out, this road cover lifts down and comes down to around in here. And all down inside that was just full of wasps. Uh, I tried bug bombs and it just made them, made them mad for a while. But I was able to actually get some foaming uh, wasp killer that to basically soak into this soak into this channel all the way around, and that helped out tremendously. Set some more bug bombs off. Um, they were in inside the, the the furnace tube, which is that guy right there. Uh, I mean, they were everywhere. So um, so far, so good. Seems like we we fixed the wasp problem. Um, I was able to get the road the tire cover off for the spare tire that goes on the back of the camper. I'll take you around and show you that spare tire here real quick. Just a sec. I hope you can see that. The uh, spare tire is there. It looks to be in pretty good condition. I don't really feel like crawling up under there in the mud right now, but uh, it, whenever I find a place to source these tires, I will probably just go ahead and get, get a, a spare tire replacement too because I don't want to... Uh, Last thing I want to do is get stuck out somewhere and, and uh, the spare tire be just, you know, just as bad as the tire that I'm trying to replace. So it, it, uh, it, it might be okay. I don't know. I'll, I'll really have to fill it up and 
and see there's no air in it at all right now it doesn't feel like so and since there was no key for this it's hard to say how long it's actually been on there so looks like that is a 20.5 by 8.0 by 10 um, it's a good year load rating C huh. so anyway I don't know if there's a different set of uh, been to kind of look at it for some, maybe some larger wheels to get some more ground clearance but that being a four lug pattern I don't really know what it interchanges with if you know by all means put put me a note in the comment section and let me know that would be fantastic so so anyway let's go back to inside okay so I'm gonna get to ripping some of this stuff out and uh, my goal is to hopefully get down to the linoleum floor today that would be awesome and then we'll start figuring out which holes need to be filled in and covered up and which ones need to be left because like I said the furnace isn't going back in and that's going to leave a pretty substantial size opening if you can see this back here that that's a pretty good size deal so anyway we're going to get that out I don't know that the water tank which is here if it's going to stay or not it's I'm not a big fan of things I can't reach inside of and clean so maybe I can put an access port on it i'll know when i get into it if i can get it to where i can reach in and clean it um it'll probably stay but if i can't get it to that point it's got to go so uh refrigerator we're going to take it out until we can determine i want to clean the coals and everything on it and see if it's salvageable or not so so anyway let's uh let's get to ripping more stuff apart Oh my goodness i have got the fridge just now and the furnace out it took forever to get that furnace loose my goodness that was that was ridiculous but um furnace is out big gaping hole um fridge is out 
again another big gaping hole and you can see the fridge is in pretty bad shape outside there um, I do know it works or at least it worked when the camper was parked um, it worked on 110 volts um, and I don't know if the 12 volt element works but the freezer actually worked on it um, it made ice cubes and all that good stuff kept everything ice cold it worked very well on 110 volts uh, we never could get it to really work on propane because I'm I am 100% positive that this chimney right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, is probably completely plugged up. I'll take that cap off there, and I'll bet you that that, that chimney pipe is completely plugged up down in there um, with probably mud daubers' nests and spiders' nests and everything else. So um, now that I can get to it, I'll get that apart and we'll clean this thing out and, uh, and hopefully uh, can get this thing to work again. Um, I'm, I'm really curious to see how much power it pulls on 12 volts and um, being off the grid, I'm, I'm really curious to see, you know, how well it cools if you leave it hooked up with 12 volts for a, a extended period of time. So if, if it doesn't pull more waters than I can supply it with my, uh, my uh, solar bank, uh, I'm going to plug it in on 12 volts and just let the thing run for a few days once I get it cleaned up. and we'll see how it does i do not have a refrigerator right now so uh that would uh would be pretty interesting if, if it if it could get it to work that would be uh it'd be okay uh be nice to have be able to keep things cold i mean i do have a ice maker i run off of my power inverter uh, when i want to make ice or if i want to keep something cool for a little bit of time but come summertime you know it's just you just deal with it uh through the fall and the winter and early spring uh, things usually stay refrigerated well enough just just being out on the porch in a five gallon bucket to keep things from getting to it but we we will see how this works so anyway um that's where i'm at i've got the fridge out and the furnace out and i'm going to move the fridge uh over to the uh underneath the uh pole shed over there and uh set it up so i can actually do some cleaning on it and hopefully uh get it down to the cabin and plug it into the 12 volt side and we'll just see what happens with it so anyway um on to ripping out more cabinets okay so i wanted to close off these holes a little bit where the fridge came out of and then the furnace and try to keep some critters from running in and out so i was able just to put the cover back on uh outside where the fridge was it's got some louvers in it but i think it'll keep most of the big stuff out um, the big gaping hole for the furnace, however, uh, what much you could do with that because of the, the furnace is what closed it off. So, duct tape. It does fix everything. Obviously, there's people going, man, you don't need no damn duct tape on that. But I wanted to, at least it'll keep, keep things from coming through the hole. So, uh. Duct tape fixes fixes pretty much all your problems. <laughs> yeah, duct tape. Okay, that's going to be it for today. Uh, we'll pick this up in the morning, hopefully if the weather's not too bad. So I have to go. It's getting late in the day, and I have to go in and check my mail, which this is going to probably sound strange, but that's over a two-hour round trip to go check the mail. <laughs> so um my po box is in another another town uh, where i used to live years ago and i've just it's been easier to change it so anyway i go through there i've got some family up that way so uh gotta go check the mail and then get back here and i'm on a motorcycle because uh as everybody else especially us self-employed um things are tight right now they've not started doing anything in our state to help us out yet um other than just tell us to be patient so uh we're about two months in, I guess, at this point or so from uh, being shut down. And I've canceled the insurance on my, my Blazer for the moment. This uh, insurance company was kind enough to just let me put it on hold for six months um, until things, hopefully things go back to normal before then. But um, for now, I'm uh, riding on two wheels uh, on the motorcycle. So the weather weather's sunny today. Like I said, we've had, <laughs> had a week and a half of rain. We're going to have another week of rain after the day. So... Uh, 
I'm gonna take the opportunity while the while it's sunny and hit up the road on the bike and check my mail, and then try to get back here, uh, you know, before dark. Hopefully, if not, you know, it's all good. But it's a it's a long haul, and I'm out nothing but country roads. So, um, that being said, if you guys want to see any videos of the the bike uh, and traveling, I don't know if you like that kind of stuff or not, or if it makes the camera might make you nauseous. But uh, if you want to see anything to do with the motorcycle and any kind of travel. I don't do a lot of traveling right now, but if you want to see it, put it in the comments and I'll try to make it happen as well. And uh, you guys won't know the difference. It'll just be a few seconds, but I'll, I'll be back uh, tomorrow morning, uh, weather permitting, and we're going to do some more work on getting the camper gutted out. So I'll be back.